Chapter 4 of The Fox and the Ghost King, The Promise of a King. That's simple, Dad said, but it's also quite impossible. We all have an impossible dream. We want our team, Leicester City, to win the next match, don't we, son? And easy, it's a deal, the voice interrupted. Get me out of here and I'll make sure you win the next match. No, no, I hadn't finished your kingship, Dad went on. We don't want to just win the next match, but the one after, the next one after that, the next one, and go on winning. We want to beat Spurs and Man United and Man City and Liverpool. Wipe the floor with them all, especially Chelsea. Ask the Foxes, Leicester City, we want to be top of the Premier League, top of the world. Me and my little cub here and my family and my kind, we have supported the Foxes forever. But we never win a thing. Last season, we were almost bottom of the league. It nearly went down. Do you know, the betting against us winning the league is this season is 5,000 to 1. You help us win the league, your kingship. Help us achieve the impossible dream. And we'll dig you, for you, tunnel our way to you and help you get out of there. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Oh, you strike a hard bargain, Mr Fox. Very well, I agree. You have my word. You get me out of here and I'll guarantee your team wins the league this season. And that's a promise. Promises, promises, said Dad. There's always a problem with promises. They are so easy to, to make and so easy to break. How, pray your kingship, will you do it? How do we know you can do it? And how can we be sure you will? I do not break my promises. You're speaking to the rightful king of all England, Mr Fox, he said, sounding pointy than ever. What can I say should happen to this land? Happens. I'm king. Do you hear me? I rule here. And when I am laid to rest as the Fetzer king, I will be able to do stuff. Make stuff happen. Impossible stuff. Such stuff as dreams are made of. Oh, rats. There I go. You hear that? I can't seem to help myself. I'm always quoting that billion, villainous scribbler, Will Shakespeare. That rogue and peasant slave. Rats, you see. It's words again. They haunt me. He haunts me inside my head. His voice, his words, his poems, his plays. That infernal dramatist haunts my life and death to this very day. The voice was becoming more agitated and angry and louder now with every word he spoke. I crept under Dad's bush and hid myself away, but I could not stop myself from trembling. Lack a lack, the voice went on. But for a horse, a kingdom was lost. My kingdom, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Oh, there I go again, losing my horse, losing my throne, losing my life on Bosworth Field that day. It was bad enough, painful enough too, I can tell you. But worse, so much worse, Will Shakespeare took my reputation. Reputation, oh, reputation, I've lost it. By his play, Richard III, that vile villain made a villain of me, traitor, a murderer. I may not have been the best of kings. Not whiter than white may be, but not blacker than black either. And who do they celebrate now all over the world? Me, a crowned king of England? No, that wretched man, that ruinous rhyme master, that dastardly dramatist, that William Shakespeare. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. And as for me, I end up buried in a car park in Leicester. Not in my rightful place, not honoured in a tomb and a cathedral like the other kings and queens. But if they find me, these archaeologists, I will be famous again, a king again and honoured. The people, history may even begin to remember me as I was. Not as that such Shakespeare made me to be. Just get me out of this horrible car park, I beg you, Mr Fox. And I'm sure the foxes of Leicester City will win the league. You have my promise, the promise of a king. Well, Dad liked digging anyway. So do I. What have we got to lose? You get worms if you dig. Great fat, wiggly ones if you're lucky. And if the king kept his promise, we'd be getting a lot more than just worms for the foxes. And Leicester City. So we dug. And that's the end of chapter four.